Hello, everybody. We are right where I left you. No crazy jumps. No crazy lost video. We're back. <laughs> How is everybody doing? Make sure to smash that like button if you have not already to show your support for the series. And subscribe to the channel. I think it's a pretty cool place to be. I mean, we have, we have fun here, so you should do that. Anyways, we're still looking for Grimoire. We heard that she is in this beach somewhere. So that's what we're looking for currently. Is we're just looking for her. We did learn that she's actually a Moloch. Similar to Bienfu as opposed to like a human, which I think we were all kind of originally assuming. No, that's not the team. Nothing over there. She's actually a Moloch, so keep that in mind. We need all the cat spirits that we can get. Like, we need so many. It's actually a big old issue. Oh, we missed a thing over here. Hold on, I refuse to be missing a thing. Oh, it's one of those penguins. I was telling you guys about that earlier. Penguins. Probably keeping their eggs warm. Most likely, they look like a mama and a papa. Penguins are monogamous, faithful creatures. They never leave their mate. <sighs> Isn't that romantic? So they lay eggs because they're like husband and wife. But how do they make the eggs? <gasps> That's well. So, Luffy said, here's an interesting fact. A single penguin egg actually contains dozens of smaller orange eggs. Oh, so their eggs must be small and crunchy. Yep, they have the texture of caviar and the rich flavor of sea urchins. Interesting. So they're more like fish than birds. So you've eaten them. How cruel. Look how much they care about their young. While it may be a bit cruel, they taste amazing. They're considered a delicacy in some circles. Top a bowl of rice with these crunchy eggs and some rich penguin thigh meat, and you get a dish called Family Fricassee. That's a horrific name. I wasn't the one who named it, okay? Those eggs look tasty, but I think I'll pass. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Especially as a vegetarian person, I'm like, oh my god. But... To, in all fairness, um, Miss Velvet doesn't really have any room to talk, considering that she eats demon and people and Malakim and all sorts. So, you know, it is what it is, Velvet. Like, I get it, but also... Are you the one to say that? I don't know. I don't know if that's the tea or not. Hmm. Come on, people. I, I would do a fight with you guys. The peacock cock cock. The peacock cock. Let's go ahead and get into this battle. Might as well have some battles right off the bat today, right? These are new enemies anyways. Um, they're pretty much the stronger versions of the Axe Beak. Similar to almost everything we've seen in this area. They all seem to just be like clones of things that we've already seen. Just stronger, so... This beach isn't too bad. Nothing about this is the worst. And especially with Velvet right now. She's destroying these people. I mean, these little birds and shit don't even have a chance, honestly. I mean, they can keep coming out, but it's just not going to work out for them. Especially when we got shit like Laughing Raven on them. No way. They're in trouble after that. Damn, I think I missed. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. That got a lot of shit. That Thunder Blitz was very effective. <laughs> they responded well to that. Okay, if you could just die, sir, that'd be cool. We're done with you. Nice. We won, right? Yeah, we sure did. Oh, wow. Everybody's mastering a ring today, and we got some Jupiter Satchel, so that's pretty cool. Let's go check out these rings. So you got the wind ring done. Let's just check everything with you, right? So you've done the resistance ring. You've done the void ring. You've done the fire ring. Good job, Laffy Set. You've done the earth ring. You've done the aqua ring. You've done the wind ring. Now you're on the flame ward. You're still working on that. You've got the aqua ring. Have you done everything else though, Moggy Lou? You haven't done the void ring. Did you master the void ring? You did. So let's get you onto something. The earth ring. And then we'll put you on the void ring, which you still haven't done. Amazingly enough. Okay. Let's continue. Is that... She's moving away. Good. 
Oh, what the hell? She was just chilling with all those evil lizards? And now we have to fight them? What is this? No, just a big lizard demon. Big old lizard demon. No, he's a dragon. It says it's right there, silly Rokuro. Don't be lying to Lofty said like that. He doesn't deserve that. Nice. Might as well get that. I already used that. Oh. I just want something so I can be able to grab another thing from him, you know? Dude, we'll break skull. Well, there's the foul grade, so that's over. Now it's just straight up trying to get it. I want to stun you, sir. Or be in the way when you're gonna do a big move or something. I don't know. Oh, there you go, Rokuro. Kick his ass! I guess this is technically a boss? I don't know. It probably could be considered that way. So come back here. You son of a bitch. He's almost- oh, there we go. He's almost halfway done, so... You know, we're working on it. There's a good old foul trade. That felt good. Ew, is he standing up right now? That was disgusting. Good thing Velvet was not having any of that shit. She was just like, nope, nope, nope. Ow. Damn, you got me down to one now with that. That was a good little swipe. You son of a bitch. Now I have so many souls to... Oh, good, at least I got two again. Let's see if I can get the third. <laughs> oh, he's shy. She's so funny. Not enraged any further. We gotta kill it, girl. What do you mean? There you go, Moggy Lou. Drop it. And I got another thing, so here we go. At least I'm able to do some damage here. Shit. Come here, sir. Die. You big fucking lizard. Oh, there we go. Nice. Yeah, for dragons, unfortunately, right now, I just don't have that much to kind of counter them. But we're going to try our best here. Glad I was defending for that shit. Fuck you on that. Nice. Noise, Velvet. Let's get it. I almost have this thing done now. Only a little bit more here. He's got to be dead soon, Sam. I will come do a phallic raid on you. There you go. Nice! That was good experience for everybody involved. That was shit. Good as shit. Rokuro got the phony waist cloth done. That's good. So she's the same sort of Moloch as Bianfu? You're Grimoire, right? <sighs> We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh. Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you two. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Witch training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Mogilu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. Eh, that keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. Bien! Come on, Grim! Isn't there any way you can help us? It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some... incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. <sighs> your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. And at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. 
Uh, my apologies. It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <sighs> Well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah... My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am! You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, y yes, ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Let's see what we're looking at here. The language of ancient Averost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Mm, you've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Haria, huh? We've heard Haria. of that. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. Oh, and our expedition is back. But that was like an interesting scene with Grimoire. Grimoire is an interesting character, as you can see. Nice. Do we have everything there? Not yet. Oh, we still have to unlock the next area. So big oof on us. Isn't that the village with that demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about? Sure is. It might be. We should remain on our guard. Probably. All right, cat spirits. We almost have a hundred, so we can almost pay off the debt of maybe the first one <laughs> at one thirty-five. <coughs> that one on this beach is one eighty-five, right? Ugh. Ooh, some gold. That's always good. Sorry, I want to do a little exploring before this next scene. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask: You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amanoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal! You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper! Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber all we thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean, I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> Oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer. 
But it won't get you out of the doghouse. <laughs> Grimoire's interesting for sure. Excuse me, creepy hand thing. If you could not stare at me like that, that would be nice. It, it's gross. No one liked that. Wow, I have 53 ingredients. <laughs> we'll just keep uh, cooking away. What's in here, eh? Some treasure? A peach gel. Cool, I'll take it. It's about time we start getting some more heavy-duty gels as we're moving deeper into the game. We're, we're going to start getting to the very good part soon, actually. The game's going to start ramping up very quickly. That's Haria Village. To the inn! One and all! I feel like this like search for Grimoire is almost like opening up the next chapter of the game because it's going to start getting intense. Oh, now hold on. Looks like there's a little secret secret over here. What is this? There's no way it's just this, right? Really? It's just that? Okay. Oh, no. Here it is. I knew. Oh, no. This is the way forward, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. All I know is there's cat spirits here, so whatever the fuck it is, I'm down with it. Oh, it's a chest. Nice. Silver scrap. And a garish pink shirt. Nice. I think that's like our second one of those, maybe? It'll be useful as we kind of complete more skills for everybody. I guess we can start fighting more enemies as I go through stuff because we are a little bit behind on the skills now as opposed to being ahead like I usually am. So we'll, we'll continue to do that. Look at me using a whole new save. I will never let that shit happen to me again. Let's continue on. <laughs> and welcome to Haria Village. From what we heard in Isalt, demons are attacking villages and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that... No, because of that... I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. I mean, is she wrong though, Velvet? No. You kind of are an embodiment of darkness at this point. Which, it's, it's cool. It's pretty badass. Like, I like it. Don't let Eleanor get get you down, Velvet, because I think that you are quite lovely as a bad bitch that eats people with her hand. I mean, that's so badass. Hi, I'll talk to you guys later, but I need to steal all your cat spirits. I'm sure this fucking town's going to have a cat's box, too. Excuse me, get out of my way. You weren't even the ones that had an exclamation point. I guess it's over here, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's underneath us. That could totally be a possibility, too, actually. I don't think I can go in this house. No. It must be underneath. Let's continue looking. There's the way down. Here's a save point over here. There's a shop down this way, though. And you know how I am about the shops. That's where I want to go first. Another fragment. That's good. There's three more chests around here. Jesus. Let's go get whatever I wanted that was over here. There's a red flower in there, so obviously I can get over there somehow. Hmm. Do 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 oh, just straight through. I can't deal with this anymore. What's the matter? Everyone's sick of all these fruit flavored gels, right? Um so I made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island. It gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste. But people complained that they weren't avant-garde enough. Ugh, chocolate flavored gels, how prosaic, bah! This got me fuming! So I caught some maiden bonita fish you find around here, ground them up, Ew. and made some gels with them. You put fish... Who are we even talking to? Oh, there he is. Well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. I don't think exactly. so. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century! 
The Bonito Flakes crunchiness and the gel's gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. Ew. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem. I outdid myself. Now I need to make my gel's world debut as amazing as they are. So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Choco Needle gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was go, 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 go. And everyone would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown-up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. Yeah, that's kind of a weird one-off conversation, but... Um, thanks for the gel in toilet talk, guy. Yeah, that kid's weird. I don't... <laughs> Some of those, like, conversations are just so strange. This game is so, like, anime-based, in my opinion, which I like. That's why I like the Tales of the series a lot, but... It's just interesting. Some of those conversations, I'm like, what the fuck did we just talk about? We just talked about chocolate and fish gels being put into bathrooms everywhere. And then it became some existential thing. And I just, I can't relate. <laughs> Anyways. Um, hmm. There's something down this way, maybe. Another chest, cool. A dark bottle. We love that. We love that. I've just recently... I've never seen Harry Potter before up until now. But now um, I've been watching it. And we're on Deathly Hollows. Well, that's the next one I'm going to watch. I'm at the end. I just watched um, Half-Blood Prince. Where the f am I going right now? Without the star icon, I don't know what to do. I'll pro I guess I'll go to the end. That probably makes sense, huh? Yeah, anyways, I'm enjoying it a lot. Just filling you guys in on my new movie takes. Alright, um... We could use a place to stay. Any rooms open? Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. Alright, time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grimm can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. All right, I'll teach you how to read ancient Averost. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. Let us know if anything comes up. Huh. Lafisa is determined to learn it. Well, good for him, though. Honestly. Alright, here's some people we can talk to. Oh, I guess around this. Oh, I guess never. Maybe we eavesdrop because I thought you plan on just giving up? Polymedes is Amenoch's temple! The priestess isn't the only one whose job it is to protect that temple. It's the duty of everyone born in this village. Why did the Abbey need Amenoch's temple badly enough to risk causing this much unrest? But how will we protect our village from the demons if the Abbey abandons us? Besides, we won't be able to do business with the people of Isolt anymore. Our faith in Amenoch has nothing to do with the demons. When the priestess gets back, I'm going with her to protest. The demon blight changed everything. Will we never be able to return to the way things were? The way things were. The way things were. Maybe not, sir. Anyways, here's this cast chest. Oh my god, it needs 185 as well. I'm so behind. I'm so behind. Listen, 
I don't know what they told you in Isolt, but our village has its own traditions. This village is under the divine protection of the Empyrean Amenoch. For unbroken centuries, a line of his priestesses have guided us. They're tasked with performing the sacred rites of worship. And sometimes, they even deliver us his words and will. And there's still a priestess today? Of course! And her daughter is training to become our next priestess. Although, I sometimes feel they push themselves too hard. Both mother and daughter are giving their all for Haria. But the Abbey doesn't care about any of that. And they stole our temple from us. By force? An exorcist named Teresa came and heard us out. But from the very beginning, she always intended on taking our temple. Her words may have been kind, but that doesn't change the fact that she demanded that we worship her god, Enomenat. In all the years we've worshipped Amenoch, not once did we ever try to force others to adopt our beliefs. Why haven't I seen this priestess she's talking about? Yeah, where is this priestess? And the mom, there should be two of them, right? There's like a daughter and the mom. Where are they? So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am. So I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the languagey work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. That's good though. Laffy said deserves that, to be honest. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? This village doesn't look like it's been attacked, but... Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you. As I'm sure you've noticed. I mean, yeah, Velvet's got to do what she's got to do. This is a revenge story about nothing else. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. Hopefully it'll all be worth it in the end. I hope so, too. But ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself. But from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. <laughs> That's my favorite line ever. Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. Ooh, some cat spirits over here. We all know I'm greedy. Um, the last star is up this way. And hopefully they can decipher that book pretty quickly because... We're not trying to be here forever. Oh, Moggy Lou, you're up there. Can I talk to you from... God damn it. Fucking Moggy Lou. Always being a problem. <laughs> Just kidding. I actually love Moggy Lou. I know a lot of people don't like her, but... Oh, there's a chest over there. Hold on. Listen, I'm allowing myself to get distracted and go get this chest because I want it. Nice. Some more gold. We always need that. I don't even know. Did I even check out the shop? I, like, talked about it, but I don't think I ever came here. Do you have anything new, bro? That's new. That's new. God, I'm going to be poor soon. That's new. That's new. Also new. God damn it. Ugh, also new. Yay, now I receive more of a discount, but I'm poor AF. We'll come back later. We have lots of skills to master anyway, so maybe it's a little bit of a grind time is upon us. Which is fine by me. Banning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. <laughs> Shrug. Ancient Avarost, you have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Uh, 
Well, from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says... Sa, Popo, Mucho, Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, The parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. What the heck? I doubt those have much to do with the Nomi Knot. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So like, San San, Pocho Pocho, Pocho Musan, Pocho Musan. Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. Hmm. If that's repeated here, then the passage turns into the nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm... It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Innominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. Hmm... I what? wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? What do you think are in those words? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure to smash that like button to show your support for the series. Subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. In the next episode, we'll go talk to Grimoire about what the hell this all means. Have a good day.